Chris Rusin and his wife Diana on their way to the bus stop. It's been their primary mode of transportation since August when their old wheelchair van was totaled in a crash on their way home from the Dream Cruise. We were less than a half a mile from home. We've been without a wheelchair van ever since. I think that we've been doing pretty well at trying to overcome it, but I miss being able to just go out the door and jump in the van and go. I, I miss that part very much. You might recognize Chris and Diana. They sell 50-50 raffle tickets at Tigers games. Same with the Pistons and Red Wings. They work in guest services for the Lions. They're busy, but really limited right now. They need a new wheelchair van, but the cost. They are very expensive, these wheelchair vans. And this one that we have our eye on is $62,000. A person who's disabled usually is on a limited income. It's just incredible how things can be outrageously priced where people with disabilities don't have the incredible incomes such as the average person who's not disabled. Chris knows he was born with a condition that impacts his muscles and joints. Still, he was able to walk for a while. Then in 2003, he was in a car accident, then had a bad fall, a spinal injury that left him in a wheelchair. And it's just quite involved and difficult for someone like myself to acquire another vehicle. Now, what we're trying to do is raise some money to get him some mobility and a wheelchair van. That's former Detroit Red Wing and fan favorite Darren McCarty. On Monday, May 2nd, he, along with comedians Sal D'Amelio and Ziggy Klett, will be hosting a comedy night at Mr. Joe's Sports Bar in Southfield. There will also be a silent auction, and it's all to raise funds for that van. You can purchase tickets in advance or right here at the door. It's 40 bucks. And if you can't make it out to Mr. Joe's, you can always donate online at the GoFundMe. We'll put all the links at fox2detroit.com. Just come out and have some fun. Having a wheelchair van is definitely independence for him. And we're very grateful for any help anybody can give. I hope to see you there. Love you. In Southfield, Amy Lang, Fox 2 News.